One of the common questions we encounter is, particularly in the boreal forest of Alberta when we're in this cold climate, is do we really have to till soils that we've driven on like this to depths of uh, 70, 80, 90 centimeters, which we can do? And the question is yes, because if we've impacted soils to those depths, that is a depth of soil that the forest uses naturally. We've gone into a, tr into a little stand here and dug down 60, 70 centimeters, and we will find that we have a few roots in it, and there are two or three others exposed in the bottom of this pit that's uh, two to four centimeters in diameter, all the way to the bottom. And if I look at the moisture, in the very bottom of the pit, I can't make a clod out of that moisture that's going to hold together, which is telling me that part of this moisture has been extracted by this forest. And we're now into early, uh, middle of September, so these, this forest will still be using, particularly the spruce, the soil moisture on this site for another few weeks before winter finally sets in in earnest. But a common point is in the discussion is that regardless of where the forest is, that 80% or more of the roots of forests around the world are within 20 centimeters of surface. And sometimes I've seen that number within 10 centimeters of the surface. But yet the depth of the soil overall determines the resilience and resourcefulness that the forest can relies on to maintain the sustainable forest ecosystem for the life of the forest. And hence, we're in a, at best, a glade lewisol here that in the spring we would probably have standing water for a few weeks or right after rains, right at the interface between the A horizon and B horizon. But yet, by the end of summer, we have roots and a limited number of perennial roots that are still able to survive on an annual basis to a depth of 60, 70 centimeters, which is where we quit digging rather than keep going. But it doesn't take very many roots at this depth to provide the water resources this forest needs to sustain itself. In really wet soil, that forest has to regen regenerate that root system on an annual basis, which increases demand for net primary productivity below ground. But this soil has created is has enough natural structure at this point that those roots can go down, occupy that soil, and use that water at those depths. If we have caused massive soil from trafficking the soil when wet or compacted the soil, we don't have those thousands of years of soil development that have gone on here that allow these roots to penetrate the soil to that depth. So the question isn't what is our effective rooting depth, is how deep the soils dry in the forest. And even in these poor quality boreal soils here that tend to be quite wet in the spring, we're seeing that yes, we have a root system that's going down probably approaching a meter to extract water out of this soil on an annual basis. And more productive sites will have a permanent root system to a depth of a meter and then extract the soil moisture to depths even greater than that. So the key question is how deep the soils dry and in much of our boreal, the limitation is some degree of periodic wetness of the soil profile that causes a regeneration of the root system. But they do regenerate and penetrate even our glycols and our glycolic lubisols to, to a significant depth. And by plowing that soil and recreating this mechanical structure, we allow that forest to regenerate the native soil structure that is in the surrounding forest.